guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I want to show you uh, how we make muesli. So when we go away in the caravan, which is when you'll be actually watching these uh, videos, these recordings, um, the kids in the morning, we normally would have bacon and eggs, but that requires one of us going outside to the barbecue, firing it up, cooking the bacon and the eggs, and the little fritters that we make, and uh, it's cold. And my kids sometimes are up at six o'clock or pre-six o'clock in the morning, which is not pleasant for us or the neighbors. So what we've done over the years is we've got a bit of a tradition where the kids will wake up early, they'll get themselves some yogurt, they'll get themselves some muesli, and then that kind of ties them over for an hour or so while they can quietly do something in the van while we then sleep in a bit more and then finally cook brekkie on the barbecue. So that's kind of how we roll. So I wanna show you today how we make the muesli that the kids really like uh, to enjoy, but also so that you can make it from scratch. You don't have to buy it, which has numbers, additives, colors, sulfate in the dry fruit, that sort of stuff. So let me show you today, and today I'm actually basing it on the healthy biscuits. So for years I've been doing a bit of a chucking method where you just chuck in what you like, but um, this is a really good base recipe. So if you like to follow guided recipes, I would encourage you to use this one and then you just stop at the point where it asks you to remove it. Normally you'd add, add then uh, to your empty bowl bananas and things like that. We don't need to do that. We can stop at the dry, dry point and that's where we put it aside into our container for our muesli on the road. So let me show you how to do this. It's gonna take you no time. We don't need to preheat an oven because we're not gonna cook these biscuits, right? Don't need baking tray. Okay, three bit of date, pitted dates. Just check they're pitted, hey? There's nothing worse than biting into a date, thinking that it's pitted, or more so biting into blissfuls or something, and then finding out it's not. Um, I'm gonna put an extra one or two in, only because later on the recipe calls for um, almonds, and not almonds, sorry, <laughs> apricots, and I don't have any left. I used them yesterday in the healthy biscuits here. Okay, 100 grams of mixed nuts of choice. So I've got back here some almonds. I would normally put walnut, walnuts in, but we are fresh out of walnuts, so we're just gonna not worry about that. Got some cashews back here. Oh, 115, that'll do. Just lost one overboard, there it is. 20 grams of pepitas. I just love how healthy this is. You know exactly what's in it. 30 grams of dried cranberries. Here they are. So wherever I put those cranberries. You could use sultanas. It doesn't have to be cranberries. Yeah. But look at that. It's pretty much just a handful. It's not too bad for what's going to be quite a few days worth of muesli. I'm just going to put a little bit more in. I'm kind of maxing out everything a little bit more than usual. Orange zest. I don't bother. It's up to you whether you do or don't. Okay, apricots, as I mentioned, all out of apricots. And now I like to add a few extra bits and bobs as well. I like to add some sunflower seeds. And I like to add some chia seeds. Normally they would go in, I think, with the wet ingredients. Could be wrong. But anyway, that's my little tweak. Guided recipes are only a guide. You get to pick and choose what you do. On with the lid. And it's going to go speed five for five seconds. Let's go. Now I'm just going to check, it depends on your dates as to whether you've got to repeat this step. I find some dates are really dry and hard and stale and even apricots, whereas others are really plump. So look at that, I reckon I need to do that again. Can you guys see? That's got a lot of texture to it still. So I want to go again. So I'm actually going to hit the back arrow. And this is the best way to repeat a step, is actually to go back, go forward, and then it's there ready to go so that you don't have to wing it and potentially stuff up the step. It's up to five again. That was another five second speed five. And I reckon, usually I do three lots. Speed five is a good chopping speed. Oh, nearly done. I'm, I will go a little bit longer though. There's a couple of big bits in there, but there's also another, a lot of nice bits in there too. So back forward again, last time. And that'll be perfect. Now normally it would tell you to put rolled oats in, which we're gonna do now. 170 grams of rolled oats. And then I think it's actually got the chia seeds next. I think I jumped ahead. Now, um, you can also use quinoa flakes. We're lucky enough that we've got some gluten-free rolled oats here, so we can do that because we're typically gluten-free. There we go. And chia seeds, there's those chia seeds. And then salt, don't worry about it. I don't put the salt in. And then it just mixes three for three seconds, speed five. And we're done. How easy is that? All right, 
transfer into a bowl and set aside. So normally this recipe would take you on to make the biscuits with some banana and things, but I want this beautiful mix here to go in my container for my caravan. So it's as simple now as just storing it, make sure it's dry, obviously if it gets wet, it's not gonna last very long, but that'll do us a few mornings of hungry children who are waiting on their cooked breakfast. So there you go guys, that is homemade uh, muesli in a matter of seconds in your Thermomix. So I do hope you'll give it a go. Reach out if you've got any questions about it. You can definitely play with the nuts, the seeds, those sorts of things that go into it. The dried fruit as well, you can put sultanas instead of cranberries. But uh, give it a go in your Thermomix, tell me what you think. Now just tell your friends as well about the YouTube channel here. Like and subscribe so that you can get the daily updates. I am putting videos up every day and this is your recipe library so that you can literally cook along with me. So you can watch it through, then go back and cook step by step and learn hints and tips. Whether you've got a TM31, a TM5 or a TM6, there's always more to learn. Six and a half years on and I've had all those models and I'm still learning new recipes and techniques for my Thermomix. So my goal is that I'll pass them on to you. Do reach out though if I can help, if you want a demo, if you want more information about getting one, that's what I love to do is inspire you to get more out of your Thermomix once you get one. So anyway guys, bye for now and I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.